I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Do you have any form of autism? If so, you probably have sensory needs and sensory toys help you. Well, in this video, I will be showing you how to make two really cool and relaxing sensory bottles. The storm bottle and the lava bottle. These DIY sensory bottles are very easy to make and only require a few supplies. Supplies that you probably already have at home. But they'll both help you with sensory needs and keep you occupied for a really long time. Let's get into the sensory bottle DIYs. First, I will be showing you how to make the storm bottle. The sensory bottle that gives off a stormy effect. To make the storm bottle, You'll need a clear plastic bottle. I recommend using one made of strong hard plastic, dish soap, any color you want, vinegar, any type will work, food coloring is optional, and water. First, if your bottle has a label on it, take it completely off. Try to get it off as best as you can, even if you have to scratch tiny pieces off of the sticky part of the bottle. If you can, Wash off the sticky part of the bottle. Next, fill up the bottle three quarters of the way with water. This will act as the sky in your storm bottle. And then if you want, add food coloring. To make it more realistic looking, I chose blue. But you can use any color you want. However, don't add more than a few drops of food coloring or else it'll be too dark to see the stormy effect when you're done. Next, add about a teaspoon of dish soap. This will act as the cloud in your storm bottle. And a teaspoon of vinegar. You don't have to add vinegar if you'd prefer not to, but it does help the stormy effect in the bottle. My guess is that it keeps the water from getting foggy so you can see the stormy effect better. You can also add glitter if you want, but I personally do not. Next, close the bottle as tight as you can. You can even glue the cap on if you'd like, and shake it until it looks like this. And then wait for the water in the bottle to clear up. You can then play with and enjoy your storm bottle. I love this sensory bottle because there are a few different ways you can play with it. If you flip it like this, it'll create a snowy effect, kind of like a snow globe. If you shake it, it'll create a snowstorm or blizzard effect. Lastly, if you swirl it really forcefully like this, it'll create the tornado effect. This one's my favorite. If after a long time all the bubbles pop and you lose the cloud effect, just shake the bottle again and wait for it to clear up again, and it'll go back to the way it was. I actually sold these storm bottles at my school's business fair when I was in middle school, and they were a big hit at my middle school's business fair. So I hope this storm bottle becomes a big hit with my fans too. Next, I will be showing you how to make the lava bottle the sensory bottle that gives off the lava lamp effect. To make the lava bottle, you'll need a clear plastic bottle just like the one we used for the storm bottle, oil, any type will work, food coloring, which is optional but necessary in this DIY, and water. First, do the same thing where you take the label and sticky part off the bottle like we did for the storm bottle. Next, fill up the bottle halfway with water, and then add your food coloring, any color you want. I chose red. Next, fill your bottle the rest of the way with oil until you have only a tiny space of air, like this. Now, oil can be pretty slippery and messy, so be careful to only pour it in the bottle, nowhere else. Again, you can also add glitter if you want, but I prefer not to. Next. Close the bottle as tight as you can. Again, you can glue the cap on if you'd like. You can then play with your lava bottle and enjoy. The lava bottle is more complicated than the storm bottle, yet you don't have as many ways to play with it, but it's still a very relaxing sensory bottle that'll keep you entertained. The main way of playing with it is flipping it like this, and it gives off your typical lava lamp effect. If you shine a light on it, it looks exactly like a lava lamp, which is so cool. Now, you can shake it 
and it'll give off a bubbly effect, which looks really cool, but you'll have to wait a little while for it to go back to normal. Still, I hope you all like this one. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make those two sensory bottles. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, if you made either of those sensory bottles, what do you think of them? Thank you for watching. Bye guys.